you got to keep working towards your goals whenever you're tired because tiredness is a way of your brain trying to basically stop you from doing something that it's not accustomed to, right? So if you're putting in innumerable amounts of work into certain activities to where your brain isn't conditioned to, it's naturally going to give you chemical reactions that you necessarily can't even control without mindfulness of what's going on. So when there's a situation like where I'm staying up a little bit longer doing this and trying this and researching that, my brain isn't accustomed to it. So it's going to put, I guess you could say serotonin and I might be wrong on that, but it's going to put other type of chemical reactions within your body and it's going to process throughout so that you have this feeling of tiredness so that it'll propel you to get sleep rather than stay up and work hard. And I say all that to say this, guys, push past the tiredness, keep working because the gratification, the relief that you will feel after accomplishing things that you've put off for the longest time will be exponentially better than the feeling of defeat to where you're laying in bed feeling like, man, maybe tomorrow. The maybe tomorrow thing, guys, is the sweetest trap of all time. You really feel like you're going to get that cheese. You really feel like you're going to get whatever is on that trap. But every time that you try, whether you go to the left, whether you go to the right, whether you come from underneath, whether you come from over the top, you always get caught in the trap because it is called the best definition of procrastinating. You see, you got to do the work. See, a lot of people, they want to sit around and talk about this and they want to talk about that. They're not putting in the work. Uh, they're pretty much just looking up in the star. Lately, I've been, I've been losing sleep. Yeah, we'll be counting. Yeah, we'll be counting stars. That's all they're doing because they're not applying the necessary action to get the result that they truly desire. So what I will tell you guys is to work past the tiredness. I am very tired right now. I can lay down and do the best definition to pass out. But I know that I have things that I have to do, guys. Life is draining. But I tell you, one day we will all sleep eternally. So what's the point of what's the point of sleeping before you accomplish things? Because there's some people that wish that they could wake up right now. There's a lot of humps in the ground that wish they could wake up and have another day, another opportunity to chase the dreams and ambitions that they put off to the side for the longest. I know it's stressful. I know you feel alone. A lot of you guys can't even sit. A lot of you guys can't even sit alone without any noise. You need music. You need ambience. You need this and that. You cannot sit with your own thoughts because you're not comfortable with yourselves. A lot of people, they run around and they want to befriend the world. Befriend yourself. You are an individual that deserves the care. You deserve to be able to treat yourself. Go out and get Starbucks by yourself. Go out and get Chick-fil-A. Go and buy a comic book. Reconnect with your younger self because in that you're going to find your passion. And when you find your passion, you can allocate your time and energy towards that, even when you're tired. But first, you have to push past the sleep. Because if you sleep too much, you sleep away your dreams. So with that being said, push past, guys. Set goals every single day. Five minimum goals. And you're not going to be able to rest. You're not going to be able to rest until you complete those five goals. I don't care what time it is. I don't care how tired you are. You better caffeine it up and keep going. So with that being said, I'm going to read the comment section. If you guys would like to extend this episode, do a Q&A or talk about whatever you want to talk about, I need to see 100 diamonds. But if not, that's completely fine. And then I'm going to go ahead and get on to my next episode. You heard him push past. Shout out to Liv. I love the dialogue that I'm seeing. Freestyle with comments. Uh, you don't tell me what to do, especially if you're not following me. Shout out to Symmetric for the fire. I appreciate it, family. I won't sleep, but I got too much on my mind. That's facts. And then it's like when you finally lay down to go to sleep, knowing you're tired, sometimes you can't even get to sleep. It's crazy. Symmetric. Thank you for the fire, fam. You always coming in paying respects. There's no point. I want to sleep, but I'm multitasking. Yeah, it's like uh, it's like trying to shut off your computer with programs still running. It's like, it's like, are you sure you want to close out these programs? Because you have so many tabs running. Symmetric. Thank you for all the donations, family. No, 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 please. I push through the tiredness every day. I have a one-year-old. Never let my son see. And that's one thing, man. When you have children, that that's a whole new ball game because it's like you can't just sleep whenever you want to. You have a res you, your responsibility isn't solely yourself. It's 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 the child. Shout out to Forever Love Mimi me, me for the follow. Sleep be smacking. Yeah, sleep be smacking, but progress be smacking. You know what I'm saying? Definitely, I get cowboy bebop vibes. <laughs> 
I like the jacket. Thank you. That looks sick. Do you accept drawings because you look cool as an anime? Oh, that'd be awesome. So just DM me on Instagram. We could talk more about that. I would love a drawing. I could use it as a song cover. She said she was 12, huh? <laughs> oh, who said she was 12? Who said they were 12? Who said they were 12? Hold up. Anyways. Oh, you're 12. Oh, well, I hope you're enjoying Disney and get a happy meal for McDonald's. <laughs> You got 95 diamonds? No, I did it. Did I really? Did I get 95 diamonds? Don't lie to me. Progress be smacking. Make that a shirt. That's a fact. Progress be hitting different. Did I really get 95 roses? Don't lie to me. And hey, 95 ain't 100. <laughs> I don't like to be that guy, but 95 ain't 100, man. <laughs> did we really? How do I check? Hold up. On 29. Oh, okay. Oh, we did get 95. We need five more. So if you guys would like me, I'll give you 20 extra seconds. If we get five more roses, I'll stay live for five more minutes. It's my birthday today. Well, happy birthday. I hope that you have a great one. And from yours truly, from Maki to you, I know you just met me. But I hope you have a great day. Don't let nothing get in your way. And be mindful. Because those 24 hours will pass by. My birthday was just last week. It feels like it was just yesterday. Symmetric. Okay, there you go. You guys got me for five more minutes. So I'm going to pop up the lightning Q&A. But if you guys have any topics or questions you'd like to discuss, um, time is it? You guys, I'm game. So whatever you want to talk about. That's why I'm at Disneyland. I'm jealous. I want to go to Disneyland. So mine was November, 8th, uh, November 9th. Okay, we got Scorpios all up in here. You know what? I ain't even going to say nothing. No more. Uh, well, I'm confused. I, I am so confused. I'm so confused. Well, hold on. Let me pull this up. What annoys you the most? Um, Probably inconsistency from people. But I've learned at the end of the day, man, you won't sit around and be focused on other people's inconsistency when, you, inconsistency when you worry about yourself. Like, you won't be angered by it. You'll just peep it and move accordingly because now, now, now you know you're not that important to that person. So you don't even, like, have expectations anymore. Dropping expectations has brought me a lot more um, peace. What do you say to yourself to motivate you? Keep going. You got goals to accomplish. That's, that's literally it. Thank you for the paper crane, Symmetric. If you could live anywhere, where would it be? Um, Probably Japan because I'm an anime. I love everything about anime. And they have a lot of theme parks uh, that are themed after anime, like the Attack on Titan uh, uh, thing that I really want to see. And then the food I love and stuff like that. So I would want to live Our generation, that's why I live in my availability. I have bigger goals. That's 100% facts, and I respect that. Yeah, Japan, anime town, facts. Yeah, I would live in Japan. What's one thing you've bought but never used? Um, Probably this right here. I have a the magic card game, but like I never practice or play it. But I want to get into it. I just haven't allocated the time yet. So once I make it a goal, it will be done, though. I know that game is really complex and complicated. They have a whole dictionary for that game. If you could try... <laughs> Dude, when my phone fell, Kane, Kane, if you're in here, that reminded me when we were sparring at that Kung Fu gym and my phone fell like that on that brick and then it cracked. Do you remember that? Uh, if you could try anything new, what would you do? Either wakeboarding or skydiving. But it would, dude, it would be nerve wracking. What's the strangest place you've fallen asleep? Probably while I'm driving. Falling asleep while I was driving was terrifying. I woke up and I was almost off the road. What is your definition of happiness? Um, you know that feeling you get when like you do something for someone and you can tell they're happy? That's like the only time I can really feel happiness. I don't know why, but like everything else is just temporary. But doing good for other people brings me happiness because I see the reaction car garage downtown so when i was on the couch i was sleeping and i was in my room true appreciation yeah that's facts what game do you remember from your childhood uh, i actually got a game today from this game store because there was some sales going on i didn't go there expecting sales but there was sales i got a game called um 
what is it called? Rise of Honor. It's an old PS2 game where it had Jet Li as the main character. And it's really, really cool. I got it for my PS2. I have all the new game systems, but I have the old ones too. And I'm excited to play it on my PS2. It's a huge part of my childhood. Halo? Yeah, Halo. Halo was really good up until Halo Wars. I heard Halo Infinite is pretty good, though. I just haven't given it a chance. And then I switched to um, I switched to PlayStation. I love Little Nightmares. Little Nightmares is a horrific game. I just beat the most recent one not too long ago. What was your dream career as a child? A musician, and I'm doing that now, so it's it's a blessing. But the other things that my parents put into my head to be was a lawyer, an athlete, or something like that. And I thought that I wanted to be, and I'm like, no, your parents are just trying to make you that. Your ride's pretty good. I had a huge impact. What are some weird but good food combinations? Ranch and... Well, I'm trying to think of some. Why do I put ranch on its unorthodox? I put ranch on my spaghetti. It's pretty weird, right? Every chapter I win, he. Yo, Redemption, what are you saying, fam? Can you type in like regular sentences? Always great, uplifting, and encouraging hearing you talk. Thanks, bro. I'll hear you again later. Gem in a few hours. You go crazy. You get your pumping in that gem. And thank you for stopping by and paying respects. You granted these people five more minutes. And for that, it's gladly appreciated. Have a great one. When I was pregnant, Pineapple and ketchup. <laughs> Yo, them pregnancy cravings be wild. She said pineapple and ketchup. I don't know what's weirder, guys. What's weirder? Pineapple and ketchup or ranch and spaghetti? Comment below. What's weirder? By the way, you guys have uno momento. Uno momento. I think I said it right. <laughs> and then I'll come back with episode number three. I look good. I'm sorry, guys, but hold up. Mm, look how I look on that camera. I look like somebody prom date. I'm Cruella DeVille. Better hide all the dogs. <laughs> Homegirl just hit me back with it. Oh, we got to talk about it at the live. Don't even speak about it up in here, man. We're going to keep that off the net. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, We're going to keep that out of here. But look, guys. Ranch on pizza is good. You're blushing. <laughs> Hey, I can't lie. I'm a handsome man. What a handsome chocolate man. <laughs> but look, no. The five minutes is up. It's like those video games when you, you lose and they tell you to put more coins in. Like the old Alien vs. Predators coin slot games that they would have at like David Buster's. But guys, thank you so much. Tap the follow on the bell button. If you would like to talk at an individual level, hit the Instagram button on my profile and DM me. I will respond. Make sure you guys all tap the follow on the bell button. And I'll be right back for episode number three on the hour. I hope you live as long as you want and never want as long as you live. Peace.